Welcome to Ain't Scared Garage. Today we're going to build a chain shifter for old Strappy. Stand by. Before we go any further, we're going to revisit this bad boy. Remember we cut that pin down to fit in here and it sort of fits, but doesn't really. Well, let's see if we can't fix that. First thing I want to do is drive that pin that we put in there out. Old bent punch here. Hope it'll work. Yep. See, it wouldn't want to be. <sighs> Hopefully, one of these fits. I bought a little kit here. Uh, the pin that was in here that we cut down, that was a four millimeter. In this kit, I have three millimeter and two millimeter. Okay, now let's see what we got here. Get one out of here. Suckers don't want to come out. All right, this should be a three. three millimeter stainless steel pin. I'm not sure about the exact size because, well, I'm just gonna cut it off anyway. I might put some tape on this thing because the back side of this just look, come right off. <laughs> you know, tape it down so it doesn't fall apart. Maybe I'll just put it away here. That's the original one. I just got this out so I can see if, get the right one in here. Um, where, where, there it is right there so that's going to go right in there like that and I think it's probably deep enough uh, no it's hardly in there I don't know if you can see it but it's hardly in there so let's just Run it down a little more. I don't want to run it down a lot because it just goes in that little slot right there. Another tap. That's it right there. All right, so that should be perfect. So now we know, we didn't know before, now we know exactly what we need. It's a three millimeter stainless steel pin. I had a couple questions. They said, I uh, wanted to know if a roll pin would work. I don't know, I, I couldn't tell you. It wasn't a roll pin that was in it, it was a, a steel pin. Was it stainless steel? I don't know, but it was a steel pin, it wasn't a roll pin. I have a funny feeling a roll pin is maybe a little weak and might bend. Um, so this is a stainless steel pin and it's a three millimeter. There we go. Brand new. Sort of. But this is the spare one and this is the one I'm going to use for the new shifter. All right, put that down. Let me get rid of this. Ouch. I fall on my damn toe. What are we gonna make our custom shifter out of? Chain. So here's what I got. Got a length of chain, plenty long enough. We're gonna use this for our template. I'll lay this here and let's see if. You can see better if I use the other side that's wood, just not painted. There we go. 
and there's our chain. So, I want to make this right about there. However, this is boring. But this is kind of cool. Work on this top layer. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld this top, this bottom part here. I want this to be just straight, just like that. Now it's gonna take a little finessing because it's gotta be done just right. Now first thing you gotta do whenever welding, you know, we've been through this before. If you can't, you gotta clean it up. Even though it looks clean, I guarantee it's not. So I gotta clean up. I got a flat disc here. And we'll just take us like this. That'd be enough to get us started. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven links we're gonna start with. Start by load by welding that first one just like that. I'm right, start off by grounding this stupid thing. Get right on that link there. Let's see here. That's gonna be a help. Yep. All right. That appears to be straight. Yep. All right. At this point, it's just a matter of welding each one of these links together. And this took me quite some time. Uh, I was standing here for oh, a couple hours welding these stupid links together. But we got it all straightened out. And once we get it all done, then the next thing we got to do is clean it up because it's going to be a mess. So I weld it all up. Before I do that, I want to finish it. I know some of you are going to hate this. Shift knob. I love it. So I got to find a bolt that will fit it to weld on top of it. There's other things in there I can use, but I may wind up having to go get something. I don't think I have anything this big. All right. Next bunch. That seat belt bolt came off of the old seat belts. It might be perfect. I said, we also got sleeves in here. I don't really want to use the sleeves. 
let's see what we got. Not a grumpy near. Okay. I'm gonna use the top part of the sleeve. Yep. All right. Let's see how much I need to cut off. Quite a bit, I know that. That. Well, it looks like that's just about perfect. Yep, that sucker will go right up in there. Beautiful. Then it's got three screws to hold it in. I'm going to put these two in here. And try to center this bolt a little bit. Nope, that's not where I want it. I want it to be opposite each other. Now it looks just about centered. Now I'm going to dig a hole in here, right there, so that there's an indent for that to go into, so that it'll hold tighter. There's the start. Make it a little bigger. Now I have an indent for these screws to go in. These set screws got a point on them. The idea is that point will go into that indent there. I can take it in a little further. Gotta go on the top. Cut that off. There, go on there. I'm gonna do a little bit of notch work so that this goes down in there. But that's gonna work just fine. Before I do that, I gotta do this. I think this needs to be, that's hot. Just put on here, straight just like that. No, I gotta figure it out. I figure out exactly how it's gotta go on. Mm-hmm. See, I didn't want this to be in the same place as I want to come back a little bit because I have plenty of room in the truck. All right, I got the both of these here. This sets on here like this. There. So, what I want to happen, I want this to come up right here. So it would seem that if I go perpendicular to the bottom, that is totally unright, unright, not right. Nope. This way, perpendicular to the bottom. And I gotta go straight up and down here. If I use that seam. I think I can use that seam. There's a seam right here. Alright, see what happens. So it's like that. The seam I was talking about is this one right here. So I need it. I remember what I'm doing here. So what I actually have to do is cut across that seam. Yep. Let's start by taking this down. First thing I need to do is take this off of here. Yep. Now we'll see what we want to do with this. I'm going to weld this on. Yeah, straight across that. Seems a bit high, but I don't think that's a big deal. All right. I don't want to mix up what's the bottom, what's the top. All right, we're going to cut this one off just like we did the top part. 
going to chop better with a cutting wheel than the flap disc. We need to get that to go in there. So since we want it to go across, it would help if I had the right piece where it went in. So if we want to go to cross it, cross those. It'd be this way. Put it across there like that. Hey, let's see what we can do here. Probably put a grinding disc on that. We need to grind a wheel out here. Well, working in the driveway, lawnmowers, and you name it, is what it is. Dang it. There. Now. Now let's try it. Pretty tight, that's where I want it. Yeah, it's pretty tight. All right, let's see. So we can get to go in there. I think that's how I want it. I broke a weld, dang it. Uh, Alright. Alright, let's fix that weld. Alright. That fits like that. About as close to perfect as I'm going to get. Let's see if that held. Okay. Theoretically, that's our shifter. Let's see what it looks like in the truck. This, I'm gonna go right there. And I'm not gonna go doing any shifting because it's not set right now. Let's see, that's fifth gear. Gosh, damn it. Yeah, let's weld this sucker up and then we'll really have to contest it. There was a lot of welding to weld this up, thing up so that it would be tight enough so that I can actually use it as a shifter. I just had it tacked up to this point. And so I went at it and it literally took me several hours to finish welding this whole thing up so that it would be strong enough to use it as a shifter. But in the end, I think we got it taken care of pretty good. I had this pretty well welded up now. It's got to be cleaned up and painted, but we still got to put this on, our shift knob knob. So we'll go right here. This is still hot, so I can't really touch it that much. I'm going to put the grinder on her and see if I can take those sides off a little bit. Be nice. Yeah. 
grinding wheel. Having trouble with one of my grinders. I have to put a new uh, new something on it, new new wire on it. You know the top of the line there. Freaking horrible freight. But this was still working well because this is the warrior. We talked about that. <laughs> okay, this thing will get hot, so I need to hold it like this. Stop. These are cheaters. These are safe. Really? That's nice. Not sure what very stupid things are going. Let's go like that. Right there. Right there. Let's try this again. That should do it. I want to try to clean this up a little bit. But you're not done yet. After you get it all welded up and nice and tight, then you got to get all the dingle balls off it from using the um, the flux core welder. If you're using a MIG, you probably won't have so much uh, so many dingle balls on it. But you know, with the flux core, it does throw a lot of uh, spots all over the damn thing. And you got to grind it down and clean it up. And it took me another bunch of hours just to clean this stupid thing up. But I finally got it all cleaned up and then it's ready for paint. All right, Sin, doesn't have a boot yet, but I got a boot for it. All right, that's going to go on there. And let me find my thingies. I may have to. Modify the top of this a little bit. Oh, now. Maybe difficult. All right. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Reverse. I like that. It's a little further down here. The other one was way up here. Come on, you. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I think it's cool. I don't care if anybody else likes it or not. And my guess I'm gonna eventually take it back off, sandblast it, and repaint it. Like I say, more than likely modify this. But for now, I like it. I just need to get that in. And there we have it. There's the shifter. The shift boot I got for it didn't work out very well, so I slapped the original shifter boot on it, and the dang old thing fits perfect. That was pretty good. I like it anyway. Ah, ah.